Crooked Chung is just a hilarious driving city sandbox slash racing game. It is just unfortunately bad. It is horrible. I started the game up, and I was literally driving at a snail's pace. Like, I don't know why. I'm just, you know, holding forward. I'm going forward, but I can't seem to go any faster than, like, I don't know, 10 miles an hour or something like that. It's ridiculous. I don't know what I'm doing. The thing is, you don't just drive with your directional buttons or, you know, WASD, that general area. What you have to do is use the page up or page down buttons to speed up and slow down. So you have to take your hand completely off the place that actually controls the car in your keyboard and there's a completely separate place on your keyboard for for actually speeding up and slowing down your car that is nowhere near the buttons that actually control your movement of the car it's just so counterintuitive and stupid i don't know why they did this why can't you just press forward and you go forward plus press left and you go left press right and you go right i mean simple controls it works for every other car driving game on earth especially for the pc what is wrong with this completely simple concept it's like making a salty birthday cake that isn't sweet at all it's like ah yeah we're just doing something different it's a birthday cake but but it's, it's like it tastes like sardines you know uh, happy birthday fella why ruin a good concept? People like sweet birthday cakes. But whatever, the, the controls are really this game's... They're not this game's biggest problem at all. This game's biggest problem is, well, <laughs> everything else. The game just looks horrible from the graphics to your point of view to the way that it controls to just the physics. Look at me trying to hit people as I dress free drive around this city just exploring and trying to cause some havoc some people when i drive through them they disappear and then everyone in their radius disappears and then sometimes i actually hit the people and i go through them or sometimes i hit them and they kind of jerk forward or just just fly around the screen it's so weird the car controls horribly as well. Whenever you hit something that is in another car, the game just kind of freezes for this almost a second. It just takes you out of the gameplay completely. And yeah, the car just does control horribly. I, I mean, look at the game screen. Uh, this should tell you everything you need to know. Pay attention to the upper part of the game, where it's like supposed to be the upper part of your car. Look how poorly that's cropped. That looks like it was literally torn with your hands. It's like a piece of paper that was just ripped apart quickly. Look at that! Look how poorly that's designed! Everything from the speedometer to your wheel is just cropped horribly. It has these jagged edges. It's like a little kid cut this out of a magazine. One of the good things about this game is there's a lot of customization. I mean, there's a lot of cars you can choose from. There's a lot of different environments you can choose from. You could even change the weather patterns, which is just basically changing what kind of sky is over you. In that regard, the game is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can customize in your game, but the thing is, all the stuff you customize in this game is total shit. Every single thing that you change in the game will be as bad as the previous thing. Also, for some reason, when you speed up or slow down or just start your car up, do something engine related, it's like a shotgun noise. It's not an engine noise, it's the sound a shotgun made. I, I mean, it's clearly the sound of a shotgun. It almost makes me feel like the person who made this game has no idea what a car sounds like. How do you confuse a shotgun sound with the sound of an engine? Rascally cars, get off my porch before I put a hole in ye! And the racing in this game, much like the rest of the game, just driving around and free roaming the city, it's awful too. You just press page up until your car gets the maximum amount of speed and you just drive forward. And if you drive off the road and, God forbid, hit a tree or something, you won't just hit a tree like in a normal race. You'll hit a tree and the game will freeze for like a moment. It looks bad, it controls bad, it has bad physics, but... God love it, I had fun playing it just for how hilariously bad it is. Circuit Chung for the PC gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 2.9 out of 10. Thanks for watching.
goodbye, my friends.